everyone, Shadows in here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I talk all about my practice as a blind pagan and a Wiccan witch. So here we're at my altar because we're talking about crystal grids today. I'm talking all about crystal grids for motivation. So I want to share this tiny grid over here. It's a very poor <laughs> rendition of, it's supposed to be um, the square shape. And I just added this quartz point on the side. So on the first, like on the far left is quartz. And then you have um, a obsidian piece for protection. And you have some other crystals around here. I think I've got some amethyst and a couple other pieces of quartz. My centerpiece is supposed to be um, one of the amethysts in there. So... In showing this small grid, I attempted to take a picture of another grid and it didn't work out. I wanted to share some crystals I use for motivation and I want to show creating a grid. So when I choose my crystals, I talk about this in another video and a blog post which you can find below. I also talk about uh, a couple of these crystals in a video and blog post on depression and using crystals for depression. So one of the ways I like to work with crystals for myself is for motivation and it could be anything from just like having energy or not having enough energy. So if I wanted to add this piece, whoops, this tiny piece up here, I can add it to this grid. Um, it was already part of it, but I took it off because I wanted it to be more uniformly shaped, but I like it there. So, and it, and it does have a place in the grid as well. Um, that being said, um, when it comes to cleansing my crystals, I'm very conscientious of what I'm using to cleanse them. So, for example, amethyst can all be put in the sun. Um, salt and water aren't always meant for certain crystals. Uh, hematite, malachite being a few names there. Also, just being mindful of, you know, how often I've used them and what I've used them for. So... In my case, uh, I tend to charge them with um, sometimes sound, so I'll put some music on, Tibetan singing bowls or something, and sometimes I'll charge them just beforehand for that specific purpose, so for motivation-wise, um, I'll charge them for that or I'll charge them to amplify. So in this particular grid that I'm going to use, I'm going to use uh, Carnelian, which I have two pieces over here. They're really tiny um small pieces of carnelian i'm going to show them a little bit up close so there's this one that's kind of big and then there's this one that's a little bit smaller and flat um one's kind of more round and the other one's kind of not really so i'm going to use carnelian i'm going to use oops if i can get it out of here I'm going to use this teeny tiny piece of citrine because it's all I have right now on hand. I don't have anything else, so for demonstrational purposes, I'm going to use citrine. Uh, and I'm just going to say that I've already charged and cleansed these for the purposes of motivation. Uh, I love carnelian for motivation because it's really good for like energy and working with fire energy and getting that, that, in, that in, not enthusiasm, but inspiration and giving me motivation energy when I need it. I've also used it for depression as well. So I'm going to get a little closer. So I've got these three crystals here, uh, and I'm also going to add quartz. So I'm going to put this one back, but for the demonstration purposes, I'm using this tiny piece of quartz point that was on this grid. So I'm going to try making, I wanted to make a circle originally, because I tried to keep it geometrical, but it wasn't working out. So because I only have four pieces, I'm going to use the uh, bigger carnelian piece. It's a little more solid. I'm going to use this carnelian piece. Um, it's a, a more larger piece as my center stone. I'm going to put the quartz point next to it. I'm trying to make a rough half circle at this point, but it may not come out the way I want. Um, I'm going to put the quartz point point beside the other portion of the carnelian piece but they keep moving uh let's see here we go and then i'm gonna put this other carnelian piece over here to the side um it's more this looks more like a open-ended not half circle if you know what I mean. um and i keep nudging them 
So I'm actually going to flip this one around. Let's see if I can flip it around. It's not working out because I keep hitting them. That being said, uh, if you didn't want to use a square or a circle, you can use whatever geometric pattern. Uh, a lot of people like to use little papers, like little um, cutouts and molds of their um, grid. So I'm just going to leave it. <laughs> I'm going to leave it like this. This is not, I'm trying to move it so that it just works, but it's okay. Um, there we go. So I usually will make the grid and um, as you can see the carnelian piece is front and center so all the crystals go around it and if I had a little more crystals I'd probably make the exact shape that I want. I like to use smaller pieces because then you can see which stone is the centerpiece. And I usually activate my grid using selenite so this selenite wand here is a long wand and I'll kind of move it around. Um, and visualize myself activating the grid. So I'll move it around a grid, visualizing the energetic point connecting them. And I chose quartz and citrine. So I'll start with citrine first. I started with citrine because citrine has this sort of vibrant energy that is very reminiscent of the sun, not just because of the sort of pale yellow, but I love citrine for just giving me like energy, making me feel motivated. I like to meditate with it and help me um remember like what i'm why i'm not motivated or help me work through a block um and get clarity on things so i like to incorporate citrine in there um i love clear quartz for anything i have it for everything but also clear quartz is just a good conductor of energy period so i like to use it to amplify but i also like to program it to give me um energy towards a goal i might be working on so in addition to creating a grid, you can use affirmations with a grid. So I'm just going to grab one of these pieces of paper that I use um, for offerings. Um, and let's say I wanted to unfold it so I could unfold the paper. I'm not going to unfold it all the way, but you could put it underneath the grid. So I'm going to move the grid over a little. And if this paper was flatter, you would just put the paper first and then make the grid around it or like you can use a mold like i said uh it just depends on how you want to go about it but these crystals aren't the only crystals you can use if you want motivation to um to, so like if you want to meditate with this grid you can and i just messed up the grid i know uh if you want to meditate with the grid you can using the the grid as a focal point for your meditation and it can help you understand like what where you're struggling with your motivation but also to make you feel what the energy of motivation is for you um, you can journal and journal about goals that you have and be realistic with your goals don't do anything that you feel like you can't honestly do so if you have a goal to save you know three hundred dollars or save money in general then start with saving okay so i'm going to save twenty dollars and you might write that as an affirmation or you write write down goals in your journal like that and write down steps you can take and then create the grid with these crystals or other crystals so if you want some grounding energy uh, maybe you put some hematite in there if you want um you know a, a crystal that reminds you of money you could put adventurine which let me see if i have an adventurine crystal here i think i do I believe this is adventurine and if not i know adventurine is in one of these little bowls here um but i have tons so or in the bowl so um you could use adventurine to help you remember that your goal is related to money and use that adventurine as a centerpiece and use some of these crystals to help you um use whichever crystals resonate with you based on your goal and also i'd recommend using maybe one or two of these things in combination so maybe you meditate after a while with your grid and then you maybe you you journal afterward or you journal before you meditate or you meditate on the goal itself it just depends how you want to go about it but this is just what i like to do this is how i like to create my grid sorry for the shaky camera i love crystal grids um i sometimes will add affirmations to mine to help facilitate the goal i'm trying to work towards and affirmations are really cool because you can just really set the stage with them you you write them in the present tense always as if you're already having it and it'll bring your goal more into manifestation along with the grid 
So I hope this video was helpful to you. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Would love to know what crystals you what crystals you would add to the grid, how you would change this grid up. Feel free to make your own. Would love to see how people work with their crystals. And if you don't work work with crystals at all, uh, just what you other spells or things you would use for motivation and self. So I hope this helps, and I'll speak to y'all soon. Many blessings.